juniper berries are a forgotten spice. They've been used for a very long time to flavor food, especially meats. To make this spice, I use a mortar and pestle to grind it up. You can purchase nice marble ones to keep in your kitchen. Or if you're a caveman like me, you can pound one out of a rock. In my opinion, they do a great job at taking away the gaminess of certain wild meats. They've always been used in a way similar to black pepper. It's got a similar flavor, but a lot more piney, evergreen flavor to it. If you've ever had gin, you've tasted juniper. They have a whole host of benefits. They're anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral. It's one herb that's always in my apothecary because it's so useful. And it's worth noting that juniper is contraindicated for pregnant or nursing mothers. Juniper spice is most often made from the common juniper. If you live in the desert southwest, you can use Rocky Mountain juniper and Utah juniper. Juniper spice is delicious on any sort of meat. I specifically love it on rich red meat, but I also use it in my rabbit sausage. Even though these berries were dried, they have a little bit of moisture in them still. So when I get home, I'm going to pour it out and lay it flat on a sheet. That'll allow some of that moisture to evaporate out. Then you'll have this nice aromatic juniper spice.